you're hot, you play the guitar. Looks like we got a groupie on our hands. You, you're hot, you know, you play the guitar, you know, whatever, you know. I actually did my own research, John who that I didn't find him yet, but I'm sure he makes pretty, pretty, pretty unbelievable music. I mean, he looks like a rock star, wouldn't you agree? I have a thing for musicians. Now, as you can see, Mr. John Hudet, he specializes in electric guitars only. As a guitarist, he doesn't have one of these ones. This is amateur stuff, all right? Mr. John, let's get you a job that you would appreciate delivering pizzas to helpless women. While the pair may look like your average couple, from the outside, Kempito. the way their relationship functions has shocked many. So, here's a little dress, mm -hmm. and um, here's another dress that's mm -hmm. shorter, mm -hmm. and then I have this. Yeah, let's go green today. I think the green today? That's going to be the one. So, we're going green today, yay! <laughs> Man, women be tripping. She'd be like, this is a dress. This is another dress. And then John is just like, yeah, they won't. She's like, oh, really? So quick? You don't want me to try it on? Like, no, bitch. You've already fucking wasted my time enough. So I like my husband to pick up my, my clothes because I like pleasing him. Lies. So I like to look hot for him. I feel a lot more confident when he picks out my clothes because then I know that I'm actually wearing what he likes. Wait a minute. Did you guys just hear what she said? I'm actually wearing what he likes. I never looked at it like that. You know, um, my girlfriends, um, they dressed. You know, they dressed. Obviously, they dressed. To impress? For who? For what? I mean, come on. <laughs> you look at that shit, man. That'd be maroon, green, beige, green, maroon. <laughs> And you know, as a man, you were just taught to accept that shit, right? And you know she took her sweet time. You know, you should have been on the road at, at four, you know, at five, you're still waiting. You know, she took her sweet time to pick that shit, you know, and then it's, I guess it's in fashion. You know, you just got to accept that shit as a man. Um, but, you know, for a woman, if she would have just showed her wardrobe and like, which one? It's like, yeah, that one. And that would bring peace to all mankind. My name is Monica, and I live to please my husband, John. It's your cute John Camel Neck. Say so. He's just like, if you live to please me, why am I here doing this type of shit, man? It's not like I'm gonna get any ass. We have a traditional marriage, and I'm the man, and I make the rules around the house. Wouldn't that be cool, just making up rules and shit? <laughs> Her friend comes over like, yeah, call dibs on your hot friend. Anybody who's been with a woman knows they don't know what the heck to wear. From your cracked lips to God's ears. Right. I like Monica to dress feminine, but nice. Damn, is it too much to ask? To look nice? To look feminine? I mean, come on. It's not like it's we're asking you guys to go the extra mile for us. You know, we want to see your boobs, okay? Yeah. And also your personality. You turn around and let me see your personality, baby. <laughs> I enjoy being a traditional housewife because um, that's my love language. I love to make people I love feel good. It's not like I'm a hopeless little girl, it's not about that. But you wish you were though. No, not really you wish. I think you are. I can see it in your eyes. It's just a calming effect. You get stuck in the toilet and you scream, Johnny, Johnny I'm stuck. Please help me Johnny. <laughs> what the fuck? Wrong Hey, assistant! Don't you put your shit up in here on my fucking table, man! I'm working! John really tell us he's not with that lifestyle of delivering pizzas to helpless women. Okay. But it's just, he's assertive and I like that in a man. For myself, I have certain roles where, you know, keep him happy. So my mom, she taught me how to cook, how to clean, how to be a good wife, how to please my man, and uh, she also told me be in good shape and look pretty because nobody wants a fat and ugly wife. John, you enjoyed that joke a little bit too much, all right? I need you to show some subtlety, all right? I can understand from your point of view. You know, if she would get fat, she would clean, and she was like, just out of breath, like, we're gonna need a smaller house. You know, I could understand that, even if she would get stuck, you know, she's like, Johnny, please, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. And he's like, I gotta call the fabricate. 
Heavy duty. No time to waste. Hippie guy, yay, motherfucker. But, you know, she makes you use some, some food or something, and she walks from the living room to you, the bedroom, you know, and, and by that time, she gets there, the food is cold. And you're like, no. Oh. And then she comes like, here's your food. I make it. I made it. All by myself. And you're like, no, please. You spoil the moment. Go back and make me something else. By the horn kind of guy, whereas Monica doesn't like conflict and stuff like that. Why is it that John can sleep with other women? Because John is a bulls by the horn type of guy. Bulls by the horn kind of guy, where. Red and Monica, obviously she doesn't like any conflict. So even if she catches John doing some weird stuff, you know, she doesn't want to be a nag. I mean, come on. Who wants to be a nag? You come out and, why are you doing this? And all that. No, like. I see you. I see what you're doing, John. You just keep on doing it. I don't want no com. I don't want no problem. All right. I'll be right here waiting for you when you come out. And I know you're gonna be hungry. I'm gonna make you some extra whipped cream pancakes with some bacon, coke on the side, whiskey. Shit, you'd enjoy that. Can we cut? Yeah. So the sleeping without a woman thing. Um. First of all, it's, it's a really small part of our relationship. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you're making me look like I'm the bad guy here, right? I mean, it's only a small part of our relationship. Like, Monica's cool with it, you know, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like every day, bro. Like, every day, every day, bro. It's like, you know, when I'm on the, on the road, you know, and like Monday to, to Friday, um, come back on Sundays because I'm very religious, obviously, and then, you know, just... Bang as much as you can, you know, in that time frame. When I come back, I try to give my all to her. Um, that's why I don't want any of her friends come over. I mean, the friends are taking the the attention from her, away from her. Then I have to, you know, be a host and stuff like that. It's not really what I want. And also bang some of her friends. But, you know, you know it's, a little, a li it's the little things that count. It's the little things that matter. If you look at all other mammals, how they do it, typically the alpha male gets to bang all the females. Uh, I, th I think it just makes for a much more relaxed relationship because there's nothing in my life that I desire that I can't have. And I think that makes me a better husband. Don't think, John, all right? Don't think. It's not your strong point. It doesn't suit you, all right? The whole time, you've been this alpha male and you said, get on my balls and I'll carry you. But now, you turn into a beta bitch like, I think that makes me a perfect husband? Like, no, bitch. I know that makes me the perfect husband. When I see something I like, I get hard, really hard, and I take it. Sleep with it. I sleep with everything. You get it? That, that's a beautiful ring to it. You should write that down. Baby breakfast. Yes, it's pancakes. Please sit. It's I feel like as a female, I have a different view on sex than a male does. So for a guy, it's just a fun thing. Yeah, I mean, without a shadow of a doubt, fun time. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really fun. You know, you should try it sometime. Um, he comes back, you know, and he gives you herpes, the fun kind. You know, the one that you go to your doctor's like, Doctor, I don't know, it's been, it's been funny, I feel funny, you know, every time I piss it hurts, you know, making faces, you know. But, you know, who needs to enjoy pissing, you know? It's just a luxury, really, as long as I'm thinking about what fun time it was, right? Doctor, come back, that this is not herpes, you got syphilis. Now that's a joke. Now that's gonna be hilarious. You got syphilis? You tell your friend, like, I thought it was herpes, man, I'm so stupid. But it, it turned out to be syphilis. Like, that is some really, really hilarious stuff. You keep that for yourself, all right? I'm just getting um, the house ready for my friends. They're coming over. I always tidy up at home and keep the house nice and clean so John is happy and content with the house. Alright, babe. You gotta go to the gym. Uh, All right. I hope the conversation goes well with your friends. I'll see you okay. later. I'll see you later. Hi, babes. Oh, hi, hi, babe. Hi, babe. Hello. Hey, I just, I had, I had some wine for you and uh, some sparkling for you, my love. So thank you, babe. We
traveled so hard. Oh, yeah. Can you believe she said, we just traveled so hard? Like, uh, I don't even want to know what you were up to. What's going on with your marriage? Well, you know, the whole <laughs> traditional housewife kind of thing and, you know. You know, the usual stuff, you yeah? know? Like, don't act like you don't know, don't act all high and mighty on me, alright? The normal stuff, alright? I can't be looking after him the whole time. You know, sometimes he's gonna go and have a fun time. Shit, if he comes back, you might even be in the way. You're pretty hot. Yeah, you really hot. Yeah, I know Joan's gonna like you. I know it. I got that feeling. I got the tingle. I got the tingle, boy. So yeah, they keep on talking. You know how females are. I'm not really too much interested except for Walmart Naomi Campbell. She is one fine piece of pie, if I have to say so myself. Can I first and foremost just declare my love for Naomi Campbell? One of the finest we have ever seen, probably will ever see. She should, we should put a frame around her. She's really that, she's really that gorgeous, man. You know, when you look at Walmart uh, Naomi Campbell over here, you just, ex you just respect her and you cherish her and appreciate her. Just a little bit more. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and wash your ass. Hey, look who's back from his workout without breaking a sweat. It's John. And what did I tell you? He likes you a lot.